Welcome back everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2013 Audi RS7 Sportback. Now this has 1,212 horsepower, 831 pounds-feet of torque from a 5.7 litre twin turbocharger V10 engine. The car itself now weighs 3,399 pounds, still has its all-wheel drive system and it can only not 16 2.440 seconds and not 104.504 seconds so this is actually the first Audi that we've actually had on this series and I think I've avoided them because they all have all-wheel drive which means we can't you know generally change out the gearbox completely we can only upgrade it to like a race gearbox so and Audis typically have more than six gears and anything above that you know seven eight even more than that can play havoc with uh, gaining top speed on this series but hopefully this isn't going to be the case for this uh, Audi, but if it is then it's kind of going to put me off trying any more. But regardless, let's get out there onto the open road and see what this car can do. So yeah, despite having as much weight and size that it has, it's still a really, really quick car. And as you can see we are flicking through the gears quite quickly. I'm going to get up to that top gear as fast as possible so we can, uh, can continue to gain speed. Because obviously with this game, when it comes to tuning gearboxes, you can uh, shorten gears and lengthen gears. I figured shortening the gears would be uh, the best bet of uh, gaining speed. Because if you lengthen it, then you end up going into weight and uh, really struggling to gain speed. And as you can see, we're already up to 260, so it's worked. That's 263, 264, 265. Luckily, this car is quite agile at speed, but it's really not agile when we slow down a lot of understeer which again is typical of Audis just like you know having all wheel drive and having plenty of gears to play with but yeah luckily we aren't dealing with too many slow corners yeah 265 is still pretty damn good especially for a f you know first showing on this series and it's yeah definitely giving me a little bit more confidence to see if any other Audis can do better or as good as this car are plenty on this game to choose from. Just that the uh, fear of uh, you know, not having the kind of top speed you'd expect from a, a big powerful car would uh, you know happen. You know, not happen. You know, having uh, a good top speed given the amount of gears that we have to play with. So uh, yeah, definitely feel like I am going to be able to. Uh, Play around with Audi's a little bit more on the series now. Hopefully they have a wide variety of engine choices though, because I'd hate to just use this V10 all the time. Back up to 250 though before we hit this corner, which yeah is not going to be uh, helpful with this car, but we swiftly get back onto the road. Yeah, this really does not like sharp corners or anything like that. Really does have too much understeer, which again, like I said, is typical of Audis, especially uh, big Audi saloon cars. Yeah, regardless of the understeer, this is ludicrously quick for such a uh, large, heavy car, and is at least quicker than the Aston Martin from the uh, previous episode, which was really rather quite disappointing. And uh, yeah, there we go, 265 miles an hour is our final top speed, meaning we have been able to match the likes of the uh, Porsche Carrera GT, Ferrari 288 GTO and the BMW M3 GTR. We are quicker than the likes of da -da -da, the uh, Zenvo TSRS, TVR Griffith, HS3 GTS, from the Drift Chevrolet Corvette, Toyota 2000 GT, Lotus Elise GT1, Jaguar Lightweight E-Type and the TVR Cerberus Speed 12 but we are slower than other German manufacturing manufacturers than the likes of the uh, Cayman GTS from Porsche and the Porsche's Nama 7 Sash 20, the Porsche 356 SL Mercedes-Benz AMG CLK GTR the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS and the Porsche 911 reimagined by Singer, but given this is still a heavy vehicle and uh, yeah, a really rather large saloon at that, and it's obviously playing with eight gears rather than the typically quick six, it's uh, yeah, 
mighty impressive, especially for a first timer on the series from Audi. So uh, yeah, 265 mile hour is pretty damn good. And as you saw, we're pretty much at the top of the rev limiter. So uh, I doubt we would have been able to get much more, maybe a couple more miles an hour. But yeah, we really didn't have the room or the torque to really uh, get up to any more speed. So uh, yeah, which is a shame. It's a problem with V10 engines or even V12 engines that they uh, just generally do not have the torque of say a V8. But regardless of that, yeah, still mightily impressive. Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.